Hey guys, Anna Kate with Anna Kate Fitness. Today I'm gonna be in the kitchen a lot. I'm gonna be showing you all what I eat when I'm on prep. We are now entering week four, I believe. Yeah, week four of prep officially. And things are starting to see changes finally. The first couple of weeks for me, it was just getting back into the habit and the routine of tracking my macros, getting back into the gym five days a week. And finally by week four, I am like back in the groove and ready to go. Um, so my show, the um, first show that I will plan to be doing is going to be June 3rd. So I'm about 14 and a half weeks out. So now is the point where we need to start really pushing things, adding more regular cardio, making sure that my macros are on point, no untracked meals and start pushing macros a little bit lower. So my coach Becky, um, who also works for Anna Kate Fitness, she is our team dietitian. Um, so that means that she has her RD and she is also working in a hospital setting up in New York, but she also takes on clients for our business as well. She specializes in a lot of different, different things, but basically she's really smart with nutrition. So I wanted to hire her as my coach because A, I know that her and I work really, really well together. B, I know she has the, the knowledge set for it. And C, I want to give her some more experience for prep clients um, and knowing that I don't necessarily need like, you know, a, a super high level babysitter in a sense. You know, I just need someone to give me the guidelines and hold me accountable through this prep because I know my body pretty well and kind of what um, I need. So Becky and I are doing a really good job at working together this prep for the, for the whole duration of it. All right, so I made my shake here. So um, today in my shake, since my macros just got cut by Coach Becky, um, we're going into a deficit hard this week. So things are gonna start changing pretty rapidly now with my body um, since we're pushing things a little bit harder. So in today's shake, all I have is a little bit of water, some ice, one whole banana, collagen, one serving of collagen, and egg whites. Um, this is all pre-tracked ahead of time into my macros. And again, going on to my breakfast. So now I have a bowl of oatmeal. I have one serving of sugar-free oats in that bowl. And then I'm going to weigh out my peanut butter. So when it comes to weighing out your food and if you're going off of the portion size, generally you always wanna go off of the basic portion size that's on your food that you're eating. You can also do like half a portion size. You can do double a portion size, whatever you need, depending on what your macros are. I'm just sticking to one portion size for the peanut butter here. So I'm gonna set my scale to zero. It says that one serving size is 36 grams or two tablespoons. Weighing it in grams is going to be the most accurate way to do that. So I'm gonna pull out 36 grams worth here. It'll say negative 36. Hold on, let me try this again. Zero, there we go. And then I'm gonna pull out 36. And add it to my here. I'm gonna mix it up. Now I have my oats with yummy peanut butter. So this is my breakfast for today. And I will show you guys lunch and how I make my lunch later today as well. So here is my current day of macros. Um, we all should be planning out our macros at least a day in advance. So I planned this um, actually this morning after I got my update from Coach Becky, but before I had eaten anything, um, because it's going to make a difference by just trying to do it, you know, on by the fly of the seat of your pants versus having a plan and action steps to help you succeed. So here's my day plan and here are my macros. Um, obviously, like my fiber is a little bit lower than I would like. I'm gonna work on getting that back up for, with, uh, for tomorrow's day. Um, but for what I have planned already for today, everything's looking pretty good. Macros are you know close enough within five to eight grams. As I get more deeper into prep, I'm gonna make sure that I'm even more on point within like three grams per each macro. And I'm, I'll make sure that my fiber count is more consistent as well. Ideally at this caloric intake that I'm at, my fiber should still be around 25 to 30 grams. Um, so tomorrow I'm just gonna make sure I can add in some more vegetables. I'm going to the store today to buy some avocados and other foods that I typically have in my house. Um, and I'll, I'll run through the grocery grocery list and how I shop as well to show you guys how I do that. Okay, well I forgot to record at the store, so now I'm just gonna show you my fridge here. So I obviously have my lean kitchen meals. I have deli meat for whenever I need to make sandwiches. I have um, low calorie flat out tortillas. I have some low fat Alfredo sauce. I have my protein donuts, 
rice packs. I have more rice packs in the cabinet here. Rice for days. Um, got spinach, Greek yogurt, plain flavored, and then I add mio to it because I hate the taste of plain Greek yogurt, but just add mio. You can use any flavor you want. Whole eggs, got more whole eggs here because I eat a lot of eggs. Um, lots of different fruit and vegetables. Laughing cow cheese, low fat version. Um, some diet Dr. Pepper, some more diet drinks whenever I need a sweet craving. More diet drinks. Egg whites, unsweetened almond milk, and then I always have frozen chicken on hand so I can make saute with whatever vegetables or rice I want. Shrimp, veggie pasta, these are all staples um, to my diet and I have them in my fridge every single week. As far as vitamins and supplements go, right now for me, these are the only two vitamins that I take regularly. This and then my acne medication as well. Um, but these are the two only vitamins that I take, the fish oil and the vitamin D. All of my other levels were great. Actually, my vitamin D was actually a little bit high, so now I'm lowering the dose on this, but I needed more omega-3s, so this is why I'm adding in the fish oil and increasing portion size on that by about a half serving. Um, other than that, I take other vitamins when needed, um, supplements when needed. I don't even take a pre-workout every single day, and I don't even take a protein powder every single day. The only supplement that I do take every single day is creatine because that's best to be in your system consistently and to take it consistently as well. When it comes to growing muscle mass and retaining muscle mass, especially while you're on it in a diet phase, it's important to take that creatine daily to make sure you get the most out of um, the supplement. So today has been one of those days where I've just been kind of running around all day. So unfortunately I have to eat my lunch in the car on the way to the gym, but that's okay because it's not messy and it stays in its little container. And it'll be great. But, I, so I'm getting ready to go to the gym. This is the pre-workout that I use, Mr. Fusion, which is a Nutri Authority brand. You can get it at Supplement Giant here in Wichita. It only has about 25 milligrams of caffeine, cit caffeine citrate and about 100 of andra hot. And, and hot. I don't know how to say that, so I'll just spell it. <laughs> but anywho, this is a one of the lower caffeinated um, non-stimulant pre-workouts that they have. I really like this one because I work out in the evening time and I don't want to be up all night, so I don't want to take any caffeine in the evening, um, but I need this on days, I don't need this. I like to utilize this on days when I'm feeling like pretty tired and just need like something to get me excited and like ready to go to the gym. And this does, it. the beta alanine in it makes you feel like kind of itchy and jittery. Those jitters and itchiness will go away as soon as your blood starts pumping. So it's incentive to start moving your body, start lifting weights. As soon as blood starts pumping through your muscles, then that feeling will go away. But until you do that, you're just gonna be itchy. So that's kind of the magic behind this pre-workout that I use. Hey girl, I can lick it, I can ride it while you slip it and slide it. I can do all them little tricks and keep the dick up inside it. You can smack it, you can grip it, you can go down and kiss it. And every time he leave me long, he always tell me he miss it. He wanna F R E A K F R E A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A K A Man, if they try, I got a princess face, a killer body, samurai mind. They can't be Nikki, they sound stupid. I just laugh when they try. A thong bikini up my ass, I think I'll go for a dive. His ex bitch went up against me, but she didn't survive. On applications, I write pressure, cause that's what I apply. P -p -p pressure apply, can't fuck a regular guy. We're done than umbrellas and stickier than apple pie. I can lick it, I can ride it while you slip it and slide it. I can do all them little tricks and keep the dick up inside it. You can smack it, you can grip it, you can go down and kiss it. And every time he leave me long, he always tell me he miss it. He wanna F R E A K F R E A K A K A K A K A K A K
this is one of my snacks for tonight. So Greek yogurt, I have it tracked. Um, one of my favorite hacks for when it comes to eating plain Greek yogurt, because I don't like the taste of plain Greek yogurt, is to add Mio. You can add any flavor of Mio. This is a black cherry flavor to it, and it'll give you whatever flavor you want um, to make it a little bit more tasty. So I literally just throw everything in the pan here and do a stir fry. So I weighed out my coconut oil, put the coconut oil in there. I have my coconut rice. I love coconut things. Broccoli and chicken all weighed out and then just throw it in the pan. So for dinner, I'm keeping it super, super, super simple. Also, if you have not discovered these things that are already pre-cooked, these are lifesavers, especially when it comes to easy meal prep or fast meal prep. If you were in a rush, you didn't have time to do a full meal prep or you didn't have time to buy meals or whatever it may be, always have these on hand and you know a vegetable as well, something that's fast and easy because all I'm gonna do, these are already cooked, I'm just gonna throw it on the um, skillet for just probably five to six minutes depending on heat um, and it'll be done. So this is a really fast way to meal prep, so make sure you always have a pre-cooked um, protein option, carb option, and veggie. That'll be really fast and easy to make. That way you have zero excuses to have healthy meals. These donuts are absolutely amazing. They have about 20 grams of protein per donut. I shared one with my boyfriend and warmed them up in the microwave for about 20 seconds uh, per donut. They were delicious and an amazing treat to cap off the day.